And one thing I want people to know about Minister Joyba, which I've not really opened up to you people about, is that God is using him in the business sector. God is using him to enrich millionaires. He's an entrepreneur. He's a coach. God has been using him a lot to raise people, millionaires. There's an anointing of establishment on him. There's an anointing of settlement on him. There's an anointing to make people that flows through him. I have seen God use him mightily in that life. So go ahead as you open up your heart and let's have Minister Joy come. Praise God, everybody. God bless you as we enter into this dimension of declaring in the name of Jesus. When you study the scripture, you will see that anytime that Jesus spoke, anytime that Jesus made a declaration, there was always somebody on the other side to receive. And anytime that reception was in faith, there was always something spectacular that happened in the life of that particular person. That's right. As we begin to declare, declare today, I want you to understand and believe that something spectacular will happen in your life. Sometimes the Holy Spirit just need a word to glide upon to cause a transformation. And the Bible says that in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 18, that he will make you the head and not the tail. Mm. And you will be an oath and not be dead. Child of God, for the last 30 days or so, we have been praying for restoration. Mm. We have been praying for revival. Mm. And I decree and I declare that after these 30 days of waiting upon the Lord, you will only be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of the grace of restoration over your life, you will only be above and not be made in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that you will only be on top and not below. That's and right. that will be your portion That's in right. the name of Jesus. Amen. Because you have been revived by the anointing of God. Because you have been revived by the Spirit of God. Because the grace for restoration is upon you. You will only be on top in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your personal life, in your relationships, in your career, in your business, in your finances, in your ministry, you will only be on top in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 6. The mm. Bible talks about you will be blessed mm. if you are going out and in your coming in mm. because of the grace of restoration that you have contacted. Mm. As you go out, you will be blessed. That's right. As you come back in, you will be blessed. Amen. Nothing will die in your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the anointing for revival will speak for you anywhere you go in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that in Christ Jesus Mashallah. you and I can do all things Mashallah. and we have been tarried in the presence of God Mashallah. in the name of Jesus and I decree and I declare that you will do all things in the name of Jesus Amen. because Jesus has already paid the price for your revival and for your restoration you will do all things in the name of Jesus Amen and the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity. My Child of God, how can you continue to live in fear and timidity mm. when you have experienced revival and restoration? Come on. After today, may you begin to operate in the spirit of power and sound mind My in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are certain levels of manifestation you can never enter when fear is still controlling you. My there are certain levels of manifestation you can never experience when you are timid by the spirit of god may you begin to operate from today with the spirit of power and sound mind in the name of jesus amen and the bible says in isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 that you will not fear because god is with you That's i right. decree and i declare whatever has been making you afraid you will not fear again 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the monarch of the universe is with you. Because the king of kings is with you. Because the almighty God is with you. That's right. You will no longer fear in the name of Jesus. Amen. When David saw the lion, he was not afraid. When David saw the bear, he was not afraid. When David saw Goliath, he was not afraid. Because God was with him. Wow. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will consistently experience revival. Wow. Because wow. fear is no longer keeping you in bondage. You wow. will wow. only wow. move from glory to glory. That's in right. the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. And the Bible says that you are the light of the world you are the light of the world by the reason of revival the darkness is gone and light is in your life you will continue to shine as the light of the world in the name of jesus amen restoration is your portion you will continue to shine Yes. as the light of the world yes. in the name of jesus amen your business will shine as the light in that Mashiach area Atta. your career will shine as the light of the kingdom that's right. you will shine in the name of jesus amen and the bible says uh, in colossians Atta. chapter 1 verse 12 uh, on. that you are delivered from the power of darkness uh. Come on. child of god how can you experience revival and still continue to live in that hey. no way i decree and i declare Master. in the name of jesus amen. you are totally delivered from darkness in the name of jesus amen any dark force any dark element any dark habit that have been keeping you Master. in bondage in the name of jesus amen. i declare you delivered in the name of jesus amen. by the spirit of god you are delivered from darkness and you will operate in light, in restoration and complete revival in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says that the spirit of God dwells within us. Mm. And the spirit of God dwells within us. Master. And where there is the spirit of God, there is divine power Master. by the divine power of God at work in your life. Master. You will only move forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will only move forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have been praying Master. for revival and restoration. That's right. And after revival, there is no way a weapon formed and fashioned against you can prosper. Come on now. I decree and I declare. After today, for the rest of this year, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No weapon fashioned against your career shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No weapon fashioned against your business shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says that you will not diminish, yes. you will only multiply. That's right. And the Bible says you will not be small. That's right. You will only move from glory to glory. That's right. Because of the grace of revival. That's right. And the grace for restoration. That's right. After today, you will only multiply in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have been small, after today, you will only increase in the name of jesus amen this is your portion that's right this is your testimony and this is your reality in jesus name amen 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 hallelujah 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 praise be to god what a powerful declaration from minister joyber 